What's going on, guys? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog, another day in the life and see what we're doing. Now you may recognize this villa already, we're in Meadows 6 and the reason why I'm reshooting this video, or not reshooting it but taking another video, is because in two days time from today we are starting demolition. Now what I wanted to do was showcase what we are doing so that you can see and check out the full process and behind the scenes of how we are really transforming these villas and bringing them to life. Now, just over there, we've got Jerwin, our photographer, who is taking before pictures, okay? Because we have stages, right? So we've got stage one, which is, you know, purchasing the villa. Stage two, planning and design. Now, in this phase, the villa is obviously dormant. We're not doing anything. But then phase three is demolition. So now is the perfect time to get some pictures to really show you what's going on and show you what it looked like before, which, as you can see, is crap. And then we're going to show you during demolition, okay? And then we're going to show you during the fit-out, and then of course, after, which is the most exciting bit, of course. Anyway, so that's what's going on now. And um, I'm very excited for you to share and see this progress happening. Let's again, walk through this villa just to remind you what's actually going on in here and why we picked it. Okay, we're in the living space. Again, they're yeah, pretty decent sized, but this is gonna get all blown all the way through, obviously. Uh, we're gonna be utilizing some of the steel columns by putting some feature walls on them. We have a downstairs bedroom with an ensuite, which is nice. Pretty decent, generous sized room. So all of this is gonna be redone, obviously. And then as we walk back through the villa, we have a little powder room. Uh, this powder room, in my opinion, is a little small, so we are extending the size. And then we've got the kitchen. Now, the interesting thing about this kitchen is that I think it's a very good size, but it's maybe a little bit too big just for a kitchen. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a show kitchen, and then we're also gonna have a dining space over there. And of course, keep the maid's quarters, but just freshen them up so the maid can also have an enjoyable living experience. So this is pretty much the downstairs living space. Uh, it will be 3,800 square foot once we've added in the extensions. There is one extension, we're just taking it upstairs. Now, as we walk upstairs, we will be enhancing the way that the stairs look as we walk upstairs, you know, because I mean, it's pretty standard and old fashioned with all of the concrete blocks that are just making it feel really small. We'll add in some glass elements and really bring the light through. And then we've got this huge living space here. Again, this can be utilized to like, extend rooms out and make uh, you know better use of the space. For example, we can have like the home office, which we're gonna build on here. And then as we come again through this part, I wanna take you into the first bedroom. This is actually gonna be the guest bedroom. Beautiful view of the park. If you remember, there's a park over there. Um, but what we're gonna do that's different now, we're gonna add in ensuite. I mean, right now it's just a useless bit of living. I mean, it's like a wardrobe, I guess. Uh, and then of course, we've got another bathroom here, which again, will make the ensuite for the second guest bedroom. Okay, now let's go out one more time. So as you can see, it's three bedrooms on the top, one on the bottom, and that's what's gonna stay the same, so it'll stay four bedroom. Okay, so we've got the master bedroom and the master, well, yeah, the walkway for the wardrobes, which are gonna be here, and then the master bathroom. It's all a decent size, it's just old and disgusting, isn't it, right? But well, people are paying premiums for these villas, so that's why we chose Meadow 6, so it's very exciting times. And then I'll show you the plot one more time, so you can see it's a 5,900 square foot plot, so overlooks the park, which is, uh, close that because it's gonna get very, very hot if not. Uh, yeah, overlooking the park, which is the most desirable view after the lake view in Meadows. Actually, I do believe there's one of the meadows with a golf course view, but I don't think only one of the meadows. So yeah, it's pretty much the best view. Anyway, let's go downstairs to the plot. Okay, so one thing you need to know is that you see this step here. This is old news, this. This is, uh, we're not gonna have this anymore. We're actually gonna raise the elevation of the ground so it seamlessly flows into the garden. And then we're gonna have a beautiful pool that's gonna be put here. Now, if you remember on my last video, I said there was a villa over there in Meadow 6 that sold for 14.8 million, actually breaking the price per square foot record. That didn't have a pool and the design was nice, but we're gonna make ours better. So we're gonna add the pool here, okay? And then we're gonna have a barbecue area and a pergola, and then basically just enhance this whole space, resort style living, because at the end of the day, right, you know, you're paying, if we're selling this for say 14.5, 15 million, you're gonna wanna give the people a nice garden, right? And we're all about building the best homes in Dubai. We're not just here to make investors money, which is obviously uh, probably the reason you're watching this video, but also we wanna make sure that end users are getting fantastic homes. We're gonna redo all of this, of course. This is a bit of a mess right now. So uh, I look forward 
to seeing you. Now, before you go, we are going to the next location, our next project in Siena Lakes in Jamiro Golf Estates. So don't go anywhere, let's go. So guys, if you remember, I've done a few videos in Wildflower, which is one of the videos where I'm talking about the, it's a huge villa, it's under construction. You'll see the link pop up now. But now we've acquired a new location in Siena Lakes, which is also a prominent location in the Jamiro Golf Estate uh, community. Jamiro Golf Estate is absolutely on fire right now. Uh, we may even close another deal there in the next few weeks, which is exciting because, listen, we look where the most demand is happening and like where are you know, prices and price per square foot's being broken. Right now, that's Jamiro Golf Estates. Like, just drive around there if you live in Dubai or if you if you don't, I mean, it's kind of hard to imagine it from the car where I'm driving through. But it's so amazing. It's like, it's such a nice feeling driving through that community. And you can see why so many, you know, high level Europeans who can afford these kind of properties are just moving there, you know, and, and living in this location. So that's where we're going now in Siena Lakes. And yeah, the business is growing rapidly. Now I say it in all my videos, but I'll say it again. We offer a 360 solution for all our investors, a 360 package. What does that mean? We source the property, we introduce our in-house contractors to help renovate, design, and we also co-project manage the property, right? So you're always in good hands. You've always got communication with us. And then of course, the marketing throughout and then the reselling. We're essentially helping, you know, investors make the most money in the Dubai market today. So, you know, that's, uh, and that's why our business is growing so fast. And if you're one of those investors who's looking to do so, you know where to reach out to me. Okay, so we're here at our newest Jamiro Golf Estates in Siena Lakes. Look how beautiful this is. Honestly, Jamiro Golf Estates is my favorite location in Dubai. Just like even my video guy, Mohammed, just said, doesn't it look like Beverly Hills around here? Honestly, it's fantastic. So, I mean, these are very nice design. They've got a lot of character to them, these villas. So we're gonna go inside now, show you around and show you what we are gonna be doing to this amazing place. Let's go. Now we are in a five bedroom home with a basement and we are gonna convert this into a five bedroom plus office, plus cinema, plus gym, and the best outdoor space you've seen in Jumeirah Golf Estate. Chris, what's the size? We are looking at right now sitting at 7,600 square feet, and we are gonna be bringing it up to close to 9,000 square feet on the built-up area. And what plot are we standing on? The plot size is just under 10,000 square feet, so you can imagine how we're gonna make this space incredible. Yeah, let's do a little walkthrough, guys. So as we walk through the main door, We've got this space first of all, which, as you can see, pretty decent space. This is going to be turned into the gym. Uh, now Chris is going to show us the next room, which is just on the left of the entrance. Yeah, so we're going to have the guest bedroom on this side. So a pretty generous space again. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, but this is what we've got. And we've got an ensuite, which is uh, attached to this guest bedroom. And we are going to be doing a lot of crazy structural work here, which is going to include removing this whole section here and what's different between what we've done and the other house that was done in Siena Lakes is we are not gonna add a room, we are gonna make this completely double height so you have a lot of natural light flowing into the house. Okay, so where the kitchen is here, this is gonna become the extended living space and we're gonna have a huge show kitchen in this location when it's been extended out. Uh, and then as we walk through here, so all see, these walls are going to actually be opened yeah. up. So we're going to open this wall out into the area that we're making double height. And this wall as well is going to be opened up into where the current show kitchen is. And we're going to have floor to ceiling windows looking into that incredible swimming pool that we're designing. Yeah. So as you can see, there is uh, the design right now is obviously very closed off. There's a lot of rooms, but what the market wants is that open space. They want the house to flow with all that natural daylight coming through. So that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, so yeah, this is the sort of floor plan of the lower ground. We've got the maids quarters uh, in the back as well. And then as we go upstairs, we're going to show you what we're doing up there. And one and most important thing actually too, is that in Jamaica Golf Estate, nobody has a driver's and maid. So we're actually going to be also adding a driver's room outside. Okay. So as we enter upstairs, we've got this little narrow corridor here. Okay. Now, as we said, we're going to be extending this house all out there, okay? And what we're going to have, we're going to have like a glass barristrate, which is going to look over onto the ground floor. So it's going to be really, really unique and it's going to feel really grand. Okay, so as we enter through here, 
Chris, show us what we're working with. Yeah, we're actually gonna be changing the entrances to most of the bedrooms. So we're gonna actually pull this out and then create the bathroom here. We're gonna close this off and have the glass from that side. The entrance is actually gonna enter into the walk-in closet. This wall will be gone and we're just gonna have a huge floor to ceiling windows going over to here. So this space is gonna become a lot more elevated and we're gonna just utilize the space in the entrance in a much better way. Okay, so let's walk through here so people again can get an idea of the space. Uh, well, let's start with the back of the house, I guess. So yeah, uh, I mean- Oh, this is the front of the house, my bad. So yeah. we've got the front of the house here. So this is actually because of the location, it's being on the road. We wanted to give privacy into the master bedroom. So basically what we've done is that wall is gonna be completely removed. And as we move to the front, you're gonna see we're actually gonna be extending over the balcony into the sky garden. Mm -hmm. And that way we don't have any road noise for the master bedroom. So you're gonna have two floor to ceiling windows here with complete privacy. Exactly, okay, so let's keep it rolling. Let's go to the other side of the house. So you can already get an idea from this video that there is a ton of space. Over 7,000 square foot to be extended as well is just insane. We've got this room right now, which is classed as the master bedroom. So here we are, it's still huge for a master bedroom. It's, it's huge, now what we're gonna be doing here is because we're facing the road actually, we're actually gonna create a wall on this side and behind where you're standing now is gonna be a fully extended and this is gonna be pushed into two bedrooms. So this is gonna be one bedroom with the bathroom and walk-in closet with the same entrance here and where you're stood standing behind is then gonna become another bedroom with an entrance that's gonna come from this side. So this is actually gonna be a secondary master. It's, it's massive. Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's go outside and check out the plot, which I think is gonna be the big selling point for the house. All right, guys, so I'm walking through where the double height ceilings will be. So remember where I said I was walking across the landing overlooking the glass banner straight? Well, that's gonna be in this here, okay? So we're gonna extend it out all the way to here. We're gonna remove these stairs, okay? Now, you see this huge living space here? This is gonna be barbecue and party area. Now, because I don't like the location of the pool, we none of us did, so we said, it would make more sense for the back of the house, so the entrance, when you come out of the back of the house, you know, the, the, the huge windows, and then you come out onto the pool. It's a lot more aesthetic. And, you know, I actually prefer this location to have like a nice, a nice pool that's gonna go in here. And then you've got that huge patio living space for your entertainment area. And if you have a plot size like this, why not utilize it, you know? Now the most interesting part, the figures, how much we bought it for, how much we're spending and how much we're reselling. This villa was purchased for an amazing price of 10.5 million dirhams. That's an extremely good price. Now, of course, as we said, it does back onto the road but that's why we're going to be spending a whopping five million to really bring it up to a standard that's gonna be, you know, uh, an insane quality and also for what people are gonna to desire to live in because we've got a huge plot size, we've got a huge built-up area, we've got a basement that's gonna have a cinema room. We're gonna give it the full works, okay? So 10.5 million purchase, five million dirham spend, okay? And then a resale value of between 24 and 25 million dirhams okay and that's being conservative and we base all of our figures off price per square foot versus quality and what we're actually doing to it so we are spending a lot of money on this villa to bring it up to a standard to actually resell it for that price okay so you can see a huge profit you know with fees you may be looking around nine million dirhams profit which is just insane okay and these figures are possible in dubai there are transactions to back it up okay so thank you for watching the video. As always, if you want any more information on how you can do this yourself, then all you need to do is get in touch with me or sign up to our newsletter and follow along on the process of this amazing project. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.